Welcome back. The amount of shopping we do on Shift Focus, well, it's an open secret. Why hide the fact that we truly believe in retail therapy? One of our recent shopping expeditions left us overwhelmed by the sheer talent that lies in the hands of India's artisans. The Crafts Bazaar, one of the largest exhibitions in our city held at Waluar Kotam. Organized by the Crafts Council of India, the bazaar is an ongoing attempt at creating a strong marketing base for the artisan community of India. You know, there's so many exhibitions going on nowadays. But believe me, you will not find one like Crafts Council of India because of the seal of excellence that we put on this program. We, we know these, most of them personally and we invite only those people of whom quality we are assured of. And so all the products are very varied. And you know, there are 150 stalls and they're from all over India. I can say nearly 15 to 16 states are represented. The products we have jute from jute bags to accessories to uh, slippers, the jutis, the embroidered jutis. We have terracotta, we have wood, we have metal. I mean, I think it's like textiles, of course, which is the biggest. Hundred and fifty artisans participated in this bazaar, showcasing a wide range of jewelry and embroidery work like kanta, sujni, chicken, and fulkari. Also occupying the entire Waluar Kotam Hall were an extensive array of pottery products, jute bags, mojris, terracotta items, and metalware. This is the in English it's called the water reed, and this is our traditional designs. And this bag is the new one and we are putting the color with vegetable color and with chemical color also we are putting and all making by the hand ovens. Yeah. Uh, it's making only the Manipuri ladies are making these guys and found in the Manipur only, not anywhere. This 10 day exhibition also has on display traditional and tribal designs. You might need to come back to the Crafts Bazaar several times if you truly want to do justice to it. It's something really beautiful here. Specifically, um, what I liked was the one from Rajasthan. Although we do get things over, it's not like Chennai doesn't have. Chennai is also very cosmopolitan. But there's something very traditional like the Karnataka handwork, the Madhya Pradesh handwork, as well as the uh, uh, the one over there from Rajasthan, something really beautiful. So I think everything should, everybody should take a look at it and come as fast as they can before things get over. This, I think they have stuff from all over the country, so it makes it really nice and you all handicrafts and everything. You walk into boutiques, it's really expensive here, you get it at a much lower, nice price. So it's really nice. You get everything from all over the country at one under one roof. It's really nice. The artists will have their products on display till the 27th of September. Go ahead and add a touch of India to your shopping experience this season. Sometimes it's good to be confused, especially if you're presented with so many beautiful products all at one time. Moving on, we got to see some real adventure nuts over the weekend. The highly addictive outdoor game Paintball came to town and it was a splash. In 15 short years, the sport of paintball has become recognized as one of the world's most exciting outdoor participation events. A game where you try and color your target with balls of paint. Headshot on the old Mahabalipuram Road organized the first ever open championship through the National Paintball League for men and women of all ages.
Paintball is the fastest growing IT sport in the world and uh, it's a serious sport. For people who, who think paintball is just a leisure sport, it's not. It's a serious sport. Uh, we've got some really big leagues around the world. Like the EPL for football, there's something called the Millennium in, Euro in the European series. And um, in America, something called the NPPL, National Paintball Professional League. And uh, the Asia Pacific area is called the PAL series. Uh, now in India, we've created a series called the National Paintball League. And uh, the idea of the National Paintball League is to actually pick up the best talent in the country and train them, give them really good uh, equipment, give them good fields like the one we have right now in Chennai. Uh, it's an international quality field, it's 110 feet by 180 feet by 110 feet wide. It's a really awesome field. This year around, we're also participating for in, in the Asian series uh, for India. You know, we're representing. We're taking two teams from India, uh, you know, representing um, the Indian continent for the first, first, first time ever. Fifteen teams comprising of five members each competed aggressively for the final victory with a chance to win 10,000 rupees. The initial breakout of the game was most exciting. Players fired left, right and center at any moving human figure caught bursting out from behind colored bunkers. So we called uh, Pain Gun Murgans after illustrious cousin uh, Quick Gun Murgan. You must have seen him on TV. Yeah. Uh, we all have very nice Murgan names. Uh, that's uh, Shotgun Murgan. Uh, no guesses uh, why he's called Shotgun Murgan. That's Big Fat Murgan. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name again? Long Gun Murgan. Long Gun Murgan. I am a quick tongue Murgan. Uh, no reasons again. Um, he is called Target Murgan because his wife shot him in the last game, point blank. So he's got Target Murgan. So that's the Murgans, guys. Uh, very happy to be here. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, first time and lovely It's our third time playing paintball and we love it. So great work uh, from Headshot and the guys at Temple. We really love it. Right from the beginning, it was just uh, something we are doing for fun. We are all entrepreneurs on our own. So we came here just to sweat it out. It was some workout kind of thing. But then afterwards, as we got get start getting better at the game, and we started applying our you know entrepreneur skills out here, <laughs> strategy planning, this, that, we started naming each one of ourselves as a CEO, you know, one, 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 like that. So after that, we started picking it up well. So we said, why not take it to the next, next level? And that's the competition, which is the next week. The teams that made it to the finals were the Maniacs and the Pain Gun Murugans. They really fought hard to pull the trigger. After engaging in a four-minute shot combat, the Maniacs were the triumphant warriors. It was a great fun coming to Chennai. Okay, it's very humid and it was like a lot of fun coming here and playing, of course. And you know, we've been winning in Bangalore, as I said before. And coming to Chennai and winning for the first time with the two two first time was playing paintball for the first time was amazing fun with uh, you know me Vivek and this is Divya was playing for the first time. And I have Yoke, Swapnil, and Harish with me as well. And uh, we are the maniacs. I felt really scared because I'm playing against men and. A nice feeling because I won it. So now the feeling is really different. I, I would I would recommend all the girls, you know, to come over and start because this game is amazing. It's it's something very different. You won't even imagine. I I really wanted to get shot. I wanted to have that wound on my thigh or anywhere. But I really got shot and I was not unhappy. I was really happy about it. And now yeah, let's go. I mean, going forward, yeah, I'm gonna play this game. It's gonna be one of my favorite games again. The paintball tournament gave people a chance to shake off day-to-day -day responsibilities and rekindle a spirit of adventure from within. Cause when the adrenaline starts pumping, you can't help but love the thrill of the game. Paintball is lots of fun but highly competitive as well. But what tickled us most was the name Pain Gun Murugan. Mind it. On the other side of this break, a look at the life of the king of pop, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs>